Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome one and all to Rebuff Now! Spin that wheel! I tried to do my best sort of game show host voice there, Judas! Good bad Judas! Because I always thought it might be quite cool to have an Isaac. Ah, oh, I want the key, the rusty key. It means to me the most you see. But yeah. A six terrified zebras pondered exactly Advax 7-0. And they wondered for a long time. But yeah, the Isaac Kinian game show would be pretty good. I mean, I'm not sure. Ow! Frickin' eternal fly of- Ah! That was close! I nearly died. Straight away. Ruin good fly! Ruining everything and ending everything for everyone. But yeah, who would be the host of the Isaac Kinian game show out of the characters? I feel like Kane- Probably because he'd be like keeping all the money and uh, being a little bit nefarious. Oh, that's so close to being able to get the steam sale, but I can't risk dying. I just can't. The embarrassment, I'd never recover. I'd have to go underground and end up trying to figure <laughs> that leg day. I mean, I know the fury of the leg day. Don't get me wrong, you were all well aware of my intimate knowledge with the fury of the leg day and that was freaking terrifying i am genuinely so so surprised that that even happened okay but yeah i'd have to go into the ground and just never show my face from the shame of dying on the first floor as judas i just could never do it i mean granted he's technically the easiest person to die on. Alright, we'll get the item room before we go to the boss. We are in no rush this day. I realize I did kind of effectively waste the money that I spent on the hut. That I will accept. But you've also got to realize that if I hadn't, I would be dead right now. So I guess technically that isn't really a waste when you look at it like that. Hey, a little bit of deja vu all up in here, smart fly. Welcome to the party where we have lots of family fun. Sometimes we don't have family fun. It depends how many family members are left after the massacre. Oh, oh I don't even have a bomb. I don't even have a bomb. It's just, I mean, I'll admit I am really happy that I am, of course, Judas. It, it gives me a really good opportunity to actually beat the haunt very kind of easily because obviously I can kill it pretty quickly but there's also the part of me that's like can we not have the haunt you know <laughs> I didn't expect the haunt to just I can I Jesus I I I did I didn't think I was in line with the haunt I didn't expect him to do the sudden jump, and then when he did, it genuinely scared the hell out of me, and I panicked, and just sort of hit my hand against the keyboard in shock, and wasted terror. I do, you know, you know how that is? I'm, I, I'm buying the key, because I don't trust the next floor. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Generally, so sorry. That straight up scared the hell out of me. And I just, I just spasmed against the keyboard. That's not the thing you want to say. I'm so sorry. I mean, let's be honest here. It's not like we would have had Jera all the way to the chest anyway, because it would have meant not using any of our items that we found. So I'm not too upset about that. It's just, of all the ways to use it, we could have got an extra chest somewhere or other, but... Oh my word, that really is something. And also that is typical that I can't get at those glorious, glorious hearts. And now I'm actually really happy that I got a key. That makes everything really, really easy for me. Wonderful. If that was a key that dropped there, I would have been very upset. Mini Mush! I don't mind Mini Mush. Oh, look at Mini Judas. He's so adorable. He's just the most adorable thing you've ever seen ever in your life, is it not? Because he's just the cutest little Isaacinian. He really, really is. And that was surprisingly easy for a room that's normal. Hey! Since when do they do that? 
I, is this just the horror episode of this of, of Isaac? Do I just does everything have to completely scare the hell out of me today? Is is that what's going on? Because I'll be real, it feels like that's what's going on, and I don't know how to stop it. Like genuinely, I don't know how to stop it, and it and it won't stop, and. Oh, it just, it's just hard. I can't get the tinted rock in the last room because of uh, course. I kind of want to use my Book of Belial just to get through this room of hell faster, but then it won't be charged for the boss fight. And just generally speaking, there's a lot of stuff happening on this run that I wish really wasn't. But then again, maybe this is finally the karma run. Maybe I am finally going to pay for the ridiculousness of my last few runs. Maybe it is finally time and I guess you know when I look at it that way it's a lot easier to accept the horrificness of what's going on and the just general awfulness of this room so that's I guess that's fine when I think about it in such a way but I would love to acquire some more health I mean still being a one heart Judas at this stage is really quite difficult especially as we've got a devil deal coming up but as you know actually if we get something like Abaddon or I guess Judas's shadow then we'll be quite fine and it also makes the smart fly harder to use because of course we don't have any health to throw away fortunately pin is pretty easy so this shouldn't be too much of an issue I mean granted in before I die to pin but we're not gonna worry about that we're just not going to worry about it. is it just me or is he being very sort of extra random? I feel like he is being very extra random and it's it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I mean it was it was a successful tactic because I was killing him very slowly, but you know. Alright, Jesus Juice. I guess I guess we'll go for it. Ooh, alright then. That's okay. We get some damage up, and we actually gain health from that, and we get the cutest little horns in the world. Isn't that not just adorable? But no, I want to explore the rest of the floor just in case I get a key or somehow find a way to cross that gap and acquire my health. And what are you? Health up! Oh my god, things are things are looking Judas. He's just the cutest little Judas! Alright, so we got Kane as the leader of this game show. I think Maggie would be a good contestant. I think Judas would be a good contestant. And then I guess we gotta go with Isaac, don't we? Then we got some opposite extremes of how they would react to being on the show. Because Maggie would be the clueless one. I think definitely would be the clueless one. And then Isaac would just be the average Joe trying to get by. And then I think Judas would be ridiculously good. But whether it's because he was cheating or just is ridiculously good, I don't actually know. I mean, Judas is the most likely to cheat on a game show. If you, if you had to profile all of them, it's definitely... He's definitely got those cheating vibes going on. Although this room is really quite ridiculous. And I'm happy that I don't tend to see it that often because that is absurd. Yeah, bomb each other! Ha 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 ha. Ten money is a ridiculously good drop, so that's nice. Though what is less nice is our distinct lack of keys. Looks like I did a good decision buying that one earlier key. And again, another five money. That's really quite something. I'm going to try here, and I'm going to try here. Hey, there we go. So we do get to have more money. I, I guess the run really wants us to have money. So we're going to have to face Greed. That's really all it is, isn't it? It's like, Greed has got a good chance of killing him. Ooh, Boomerang Tears. Not necessarily fantastic, because it shortens my range a fair amount, but I like them. I really do. They're a lot of fun, and I think I think more items need to be taken just because they're fun. Talking of fun, there's a new mode in Afterbirth, which looks absolutely amazing. I've not looked up the details, but it's, I think it's like a horde mode. I'm not completely sure. Show? I'm not completely sure, but it does look pretty neat, and there's a lot of stuff that looks pretty neat. I know maybe 5% of what's happening in Afterbirth, so I cannot wait to have Isaac just completely reinvigorated. It's going to be absolutely excellent. Okay, there we go. There we go. And innocence to slaughter. Good old innocence. Look at them. They're oh, oh god, not so innocent. They're all bloody explosive carriers. How could I get fooled by their innocent charms when all along they were harboring a dark secret? How could I be so blind as to think that they were just cute little wandering waddlers? I don't even know what a wandering waddler is, but it sounds adorable. Yeah, we need some keys. Like, straight up, 
We just need some keys. We really, really badly need some keys. I mean, this is totally going to be the path to the boss. So we at least got that going for us. We'll have a pot shot for magic mushroom and then fail that completely. So that's about right. If anyone's doing this seed, get those mushrooms and then, you know, horribly confirm to me that magic mushroom was actually in one of them. And I'm walking away from it right now. Actually, I've really paranoid myself that that is exactly what's going on. So I'm going to go check. I know this is probably stupid, but I just, I need to. Oh no, it was actually two damaging ones, so I guess I didn't need to. Alright, one and a half hearts to kill the dark one. I can handle that, mostly, for the most part. I would say I can handle that, definitely. Because, I mean, you know, he might be the dark one, but he's not the one. And as long as it's not Neo that's trying to kill me, I think we'll all be okay. We'll all be alright. Because he seems to be really good at charging through all my boomerang tiers. Like, it's a really major talent of his. Torn Photo is very nice. I'm not going to go in the Devil Deal yet, because actually there's only a couple rooms left. Yeah, no, maybe, kind of, do I want to? Torn Photo's very good. Yeah, let's go in I'm just worried for Krampus. Oh, no. I can't take up his tail, because if I take up his tail, there's going to be gold chests everywhere and less keys. And I already have no keys, so that would just completely black, 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 wow. Wow. Backfire is, of course, what I was trying to say. <laughs> that's just, that's one of those like, oh, come on, brain. Why? Out of all the words you could have accidentally said instead, you chose that one. I'm just happy I'm not in a public place or a party and that only thousands of people on the internet are going to hear that I messed it up. Fuck you, troll bomb. It's really trying my patience there. Yep, just not a single key on this floor. So it's a very good job that I was allowed in the item room via the use of a bomb. Okay, let us continue. I guess it's like Amaretsu, isn't it? Is that is that the thing? I can't actually quite remember that well off the top of me head. Off the top of me head. But I just, you know, I'd rather it be off the top of my head than off the bottom of my head, of course. So we have one and a half black hearts as well as one red heart. That's what we're working with, which is enough. You know, it's definitely better than the... So we've got one black heart and one red heart, which is enough. It's definitely better than what we were having to work with before, so I'm okay with this. I am really upset I had to give up on Guppy's tail, though, because it's potentially incredibly useful. But I just, I just can't. I just can't rely on finding enough keys because I just know I'm going to just really sadly have to go through all the rest of the floors being like, I'd love to get some items, but, you know, I'm no longer allowed items. Ever ever since the accident, I've, I've not been allowed items because both those keys that I just got probably would have been chests. Oh, come on! Don't mock me, game. Just give me a modest amount. And then that's a key champion over there. So that's that's about right, isn't it? Oh, good, he didn't drop a key. I know, I never thought I'd be happy that something didn't drop a bonus. <sighs> never mind, hey? Never mind. We're now super bandaging it. What I don't get is it's like plus two hearts, but it's actually plus three hearts. I feel like the super bandage can't actually count, but we're such an adorable bandaged tiny Judas. Like, I mean, just just look at him. It's such adorable. Is he crying? He's really sad. He doesn't know where he is. He's got his little fly friend, but that's not enough for him right now. And he needs all the help he can get, this little adorable Judas. It's just, it's really sad, you know? Cool. Alright, well, we have enough money to buy this entire shot, but we're going to face greed instead, so... Yeah, I don't really know what I was expecting there. I would like my fly to just go do it. If Smart Fly was permanently on, it would actually be one of the best items in the entirety of the game, I think. Especially if you could BBF or Hive Mind it. I don't know which one actually affects the... Uh, wow. Well, I mean, at least future shops are going to be absolutely fantastic. We can just buy everything that we want and go on a mega super shopping spree. Yay! Though... I have a feeling we're just going to get terrible shop items. Because that's the only way that we'd have such a pleasant greed experience. Though I do hope I get another nice combo with Boomerang Tears. Hey! 
That was worth it. Very worth it. Like, Tiny Planet would actually be fantastic right now because Tiny Planet and Boomerang Tears makes the most weird... What are you doing, Tears? Where, where are you going? Are you are you drunk? Go drunk, Tears. You're home. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. It's a very, very large amount of fun for everyone. Well, that was worth the trip over here. All right, let's go slaughter our boss. Caves 2, we're about three minutes behind boss rush, so all in all, doing pretty well for the distinct lack of damage that we are rocking. I say lack, we're nearly at the maximum, so I don't know. Lack! That's a very Scottish ach word, but then that makes sense, because every ach is just owned by Scotland, I'm pretty sure. I'm very pretty sure that I say pretty sure too much today. Oh well. Oh well. Hey, Gurdster. Gurdster Mobile. Gurdster, my friend. Gurdster. Good old Gurdster. We do like our Gurdster, don't we? Yeah, we're doing a very sizably nice amount of damage. This is very, very good. Piercing tears, of course, would be great with Boomerang. Actually, getting the Whoosh Worm would be great with Boomerang as a trinket. So there's a lot of options for us. And we get extra health up, so we can take a two and a one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to take Spooky Ghost because Spectral Tears are fantastic with Boomerang, so I don't, look to need, I don't need to worry about the room getting in my way. And now we're a tiny, adorable Spooky Ghost. But I'm not bothered about the other two enough to spend a heart on them. So let us move on. I like Spirit of the Night. The reason I like Spirit of the Night is it will always hold a special place in my heart because a Spirit of the Night run is the first ever time I completed a run on Original Isaac. And I will always remember that. I will. I will be an old man one day and be like, let me tell you about the time I completed my first Original Isaac run. I was but a wee lad of an age I forget. My memory goes when I'm... When I'm old, you know, my memory, my memory's not what it quite used to be, but that's expected. What are we even talking about? I don't actually know. I swear to God, this room of all rooms is just fantastic for tinted rocks. Like, it really is. And then it's also fantastic for wasting bombs because I'm incapable of not shooting my own bomb off target. I mean, that's just the best, isn't it? Oh, I really wanted to somehow be allowed to kill them from the front, but... It's not allowed. So we need to get lots of range and we need to get lots of shot speed. That makes Boomerang Tears really, really excellent. But it's kind of difficult to do that. I also need to remember that I am flying and can stop bloody trying to play as if I'm not. It makes things like this a lot easier. Help up! Good! Maybe things are locking up. And we get teleported to the Devil Duel, which is a bit of crampy boy action. Which isn't fantastic, but it's also alright. I mean, I do want Lump of Coal, of course, because it'll go really well with uh, Boomerang Tears. And we get it. So this is good. We also get out of doing the trap room, because we good like that. So, yeah, I'm alright. One good item per Devil Room is kind of expected and fine, so I can't really complain too much. Ooh, don't explode on my face, don't explode on my face, just don't explode on my face, you stupid mega, mega pride. Okay, no nine lives for us. The Emperor is very useful, so use that one first. Tears down, that sucks, but with the tears that we got from Tone Photo, it won't even probably be that noticeable. Tone Photo, as it's just a photo of a very toned person, like they're just absolutely ripped. And explode. Nice. Okay, item room wherever you're ready. It's a very plain floor so far. You know, I don't wanna I don't wanna insult the floor. There's nothing wrong with being a plain floor. It's just, you know, I was expecting a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of uh warmth coming from it. An eternal heart there is uh, not bad for the effort we put into acquiring it. Uh, okay, good. These guys are very intense when I kind of have to get close. Item! Wrong way round. I mean, if that was just rotated 180 degrees, it would suddenly be fantastic, but it wasn't, and now I'm very, very depressed. The Emperor is a good card to have because we, of course, uh, get to go straight to something like Isaac. So if we don't find a better queue before then, then we can uh, effectively skip the most annoying flaw in the entirety of the game. Although perhaps it's a lot better to skip the chest than it is to skip the cathedral. Because I guess at least the cathedral does have normal rooms. Let's get the shop then. 
Ooh, there's options. I mean, we get to use that twice, so that's kind of worth it. Buy the key, because why not? Buy the bomb, because why not? Buy this pill, because I just paid money to hurt myself. That sounds like a really we west. That sounds really west. Why can't I speak today? I know what you're thinking. I can't speak normally, but shut up, all right? It's especially bad at the moment, and I'm not entirely sure why, and it's freaking me out, man. It's freaking me out. All right, Monstro 2, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Thing. Yeah, you better jump, you better spawn fly, then you best get exploded! And... Okay, cool, he's not actually doing it. And the good thing about Boomerang Tears against Monstro is that he likes to jump over my tears, but then because you've got Boomerang, they come screaming straight back at him. Awesome, I'm glad we got the choice here. Squeezy, definitely the superior of the two options. And then the Devil Deal is just the corpse of Krampus. Silly old Krampus. And we did need some extra money, because we don't have enough money yet. So all in all, very good. I don't know. I feel like we're going to struggle once we get to the more difficult flaws with this setup. I feel like we really are. We don't have enough sort of, ah, die! And I do like more, ah, die! In my life, I can find you never can have enough, ah, die! Though, again, don't just yell that at people. And yeah, look how much my tears grow when they get to the end of their life cycle. That's quite ridiculous. Oh, good, a room full of pins, and I don't have Book of Belial. I don't have the Book of Belial to make it so much easier. I hope we do get offered Magic Mushroom in our Womb 1 boss choice. That would make everything so much easier. It really, really would. Although Isaac's bedroom here is quite... God damn it, really, Tears? That one I at least think was a little bit not my fault, maybe. Free contract from below is not something I'm going to say no to. Good old solar size of death going on. I felt like I was a little bit too close, but I was like, I'm committed at this point, so I'm just going to do it. Ooh, we might actually have ourselves a black market here, which is nice. And we get ourselves a heal up. I mean, not great. I'd rather have the spirit hearts, of course. Uh... Well, that's lame. That's really, really lame. I was hoping for something a lot better there. But we can't win them all. That is definitely true. We canny win them all. That was surprisingly easy, that room. I mean, I heard the explosion, but there was also a part of me that was like, nah, that was just a random explosion. You know, just those random explosions that you hear about the place that always happen. That's what one of those was. I'm I'm 90% sure. And no, it turned out it was actually just the enemies killing themselves for me. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased. Okay, so if we do this, in theory, they should just eventually kill themselves by just kind of doing their thing, which is a little bit sad for people to have to die for just doing their thing, but they should have thought about that before trying to test me and my mighty might! And spooky ghosts with spooky tears. God, I hate the spooky ghost, but we have smart revenge fly of revenge who's going to just make mincemeat out of them. Store credit is not bad, especially as we can use it on a devil deal. Jump is terrible. Jump is just terrible, and I'm going to keep stock credit for the devil deal, because I don't need petrified poop anymore. Uh, the thing here is that I actually... Uh, can I use stock credit on devil deal, or is it the other one, the credit card on a devil deal? I don't actually know the answer to this one. But I guess there's only one way to find out, because, I mean, there's no disadvantage to me just doing this, because this is the last shot, my last proper use for money, and I still have money to spare. So I'm assuming that that's okay. I don't know why I'm assuming that, but, you know, I like to figure these things out. I do. It's nice to do a little bit of testing for the scientific process. Although I say the scientific process. When I was in high school and I was doing my physics A-level, my first year of it, my AS year, we had to do an experiment, and it was about this sort of pendulum thing, I think, and it was, it was for my final grade that this was done. It wasn't just, like, a bit of work to learn. It was a monitored, no-help-given experiment to see if you've learned well how to do those experiments. And basically what happened, come on! And basically what happened is that the results that I got 
were kind of really way off what the target results to get a good mark were because we all got told what we should be aiming for and we had to do the experiment accurately enough to get those results and then we had to write down our results and see how close they were so what I did is I just kind of did the experiment realized that mine was very far far off and then just decided you know what I'm just going to completely ignore my actual experiment and just write down my own results based on what the actual results should be so that my results look fairly, fairly accurate. So I just did that, worked out what good results would look like, and I guess somewhat convincingly did them because I got a really good mark. So there you go, guys. Life lesson. If you're going to cheat, just don't get caught and everything turns out really well. And as, as, as much as I don't want to actually advocate that, because it, everything is much better if you've achieved it based on your own merit, that I will say, it is kind of bad that in a lot of cases you do gain real advantage from successfully playing the system like that. And it doesn't work. Damn, I feel so disappointed. Obviously, it's pointless me getting goat head when I got Buck of Belial, so we shall move on. So is this store credit just absolutely useless now? Because I have a feeling it is. Curse of the Blind doesn't matter so much, because I'm effectively just going to take whatever the Devil Deal offers me. On the- Oh god! Oh, I'm being attacked by midgets! Oh my god! I never thought this would happen! I'm just being completely attacked by midgets! I don't know how to stop it! I just don't know how to stop it! Alright, there we go. Okay, that was- That was quite a terrifying experience there. I- I don't really know what what I was gonna do if they just they just kept attacking me. I mean, it's it's just not something that you're prepared for in every day to day life. You don't expect to just get randomly attacked by midgets. You just don't. It just doesn't happen. Especially weird blue ones covered in blood that don't have legs and slide along using their blood from their own entrails. That's intense. I mean, some might even say hardcore. And I don't even, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like it is. I mean, if you're using your, the, your own blood to slip around the place, that's pretty, that's pretty, like, I mean, yeah, you've got some balls. You really do. So I'm definitely going to keep the Emperor for an easy cathedral. We should definitely be It Lives with uh, this kind of setup. That is for show. Sure. It's just whether we can do anything on top of that. That's the real question here. And a bit of envy. Oh, I'm so glad I went in this room. I am just the gladderest ever in the world that this room was a part of my life and I get to experience this room once more in a lovely, friendly environment with lots of soft things everywhere. Good environments full of soft things are generally what you want from life. Die! Cool. I don't care about your troll bomb. I'm not going to let it affect me. You've not unhinged me at all, Envy. And I'm just, I'm happy that I got to kill you. You've, in fact, made my run better. I don't like that there's little crosses in the scenery of the walls. Like, oh, I wonder if this cross over here is a secret. To be fair, it totally should be. Hey, it worked. So I wonder then, how much damage do they actually get up to? Because they those grow in size really rapidly. And is uh, the lump of coal always a damage up? Like, even if you hit things point blank, is it still a damage up? I feel like it is, because from what I understand of the item, it's plus one to six damage, depending on how far the uh, tier has traveled when it connects with its target. But when you pick up Lump of Coal, your tiers always just kind of uh, get suddenly really small. So I'm not entirely sure the maths behind it. Maybe, maybe I just need to not care and just accept that it is a damage up and stop worrying about it. But you don't just want to blindly accept things. That's the wrong way to go. You got to question everything. Unless if I tell you to don't question it, then you of course don't question it because I've told you to not question it. I mean, just don't question that. In fact, that's pretty good solid life advice there. It's not liquid life advice. It's the kind of life uh, life advice you can really grab and place on a shelf. And if, if something's good enough that you can grab it and place it on a shelf, then I think you've done pretty well. That was a good little pincer attack on that zombie. He never knew what hit him. And a round of pills. I don't think we'll take health down. I don't think we'll take look down. I don't think we'll take look down. I think we'll press the question mark. And I found peels. Alright, conquest! Yay! I'm suddenly very happy that I have options. So, so happy that I have options. It's nice to have options, isn't it? Always useful to have a good amount of options. Don't do it again! Oh, he's doing it again. And... Wait, what? That's really weird. The right one? There we go. I know what I'm doing. 
And triple red chest. So that's just really disappointing. Yeah, the devil deal path, not great. I'd love someone to tell me what the angels have to offer on this run because the devil, the devil was being a stingy bastard. That I will say. The devil's been an absolute stingy bastard this time. And if it wasn't for the fact that I don't like writing, I would totally write a formal letter of complaint. I just would. I know that you may say that that sounds harsh, but I think in times like these, you just really need to put your foot down and assert that you know what you're doing with your life. Even if you have absolutely no idea, like the rest of us. I don't know why I'm being all like, here's philosophical musings today. Ha 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 ha. I have no idea what's come over me, but maybe, maybe I should get it checked out. Oh yes, because it's perfectly in the place that all the big ones end up. That's again a sentence I never thought I would quite say, but that's alright. Any tinted rocks in here? There was indeed one! I've got your number, tinted rock! And an extra key. This is good. We have more than the four that we need. And that means we can get some golden chests and hopefully a little bit of Cricket's head action. That would be perfect at this stage. Absolutely perfect. This is- oh, cotton. I'm just not. I'm just... You know? I'm just not. Like... I'm just- Okay! Thanks for moving the bomb. Appreciate it. Appreciate you moving the bomb. I'm low on bombs, but at this stage, the best use of bombs is to just... Oh, come on! Really? Really? I'm sad. You know, I'm very, very sad that this happened. All of it. That absolutely... Ooh, maybe I'm not sad. I'm still sad. I'm still very sad. That is two freaking trapdoors. And both of them were absolutely terrible. Normally, trapdoors are filled with absolute wonder and joy and just utter loveliness. And uh, no, this one is just filled with pain, disappointment, and a mild dose of despair. And those envy rooms and the three hearts that I lost were for literally no reason. No reason whatsoever. And I have to accept that fact. I have to live with that forever that I did all that for absolutely no reason. And do you know what that's like? Do you know what that's like? Because I bet you don't know what that's like. <sighs> no, it just is. It's, it sucks a little bit, is, is all I'm trying to say. Stop summoning little dingles, alright? We don't believe in little dingles around here. We don't like their kind. Well, let's go in, why not? Hey, more spiders trying to kill me. I love sp- oh, come- OH MY GOD! Not only did it push it away from the goddamn wall, it somehow managed to accurately laser precision it over to my face, so I take an extra heart of damage, because I guess the room felt robbed that I didn't get the first bit of damage, because I'm flying. I am severely upset right now, and just a little bit salty, cause that is some grade A fuck you -ery. Now granted, it's still completely my own fault for not waiting till my tears have calmed the hell down before placing a bomb, but I also want to point out that seriously? You know, seriously? Hey, this might be good, come on. Oh, well that's, you know, just very disappointing. I was very excited for that room, and then rapidly my... Entire optimism was just evaporated in a second. Just, just evaporated. I don't even know why I'm picking up this money anymore. It's just not something I need in my life. It's always weird having these heart things without the masks that defend them because they become such easier enemies, yet on later floors they become easier. It doesn't make any sense and that, that makes me mad. That of course was tactical damage to clear the room. Definitely. Yeah, we're gonna struggle on this run. We are so gonna struggle on this run. Please die. Oh, good. Good. For once, it actually spawned in a place that helped me instead of horrifically hindered me. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's really, really good. Ooh, calm down. Calm down. Let the heart kill them all for me. Let the heart and then stack up a load of shots. There we go, that worked out really nicely. I love how my fly just blocked everything. Oh, it's an orbital! I never realized that it's an orbital while it's not activated. That's really cool. I don't know how I never realized that. You'd think it would have come up before. But no, I genuinely did not realize that was an orbital. So do I go to Isaac, try and beat Isaac on this health, or fight my way through the cathedral pointlessly? 
That's the question I've got to ask myself here, because I have a feeling I need to get to the chest items to have a chance at this run. So I'm going to charge Book of Belial, and oh my god. Oh my god, the regret is absolutely palpable. The regret is palpable. I can feel the regret on my face. Like, genuinely, I can feel the regret everywhere. <sighs> That's just... Oh, come on. Actually, these ones are fine, I guess. These ones are fine. I'm just gonna slowly kill them, and I just... Even in a room where I wasn't trying to kill any of the people in the room, I still manage to somehow take two hearts of damage. That upsets me more than you know. However, technically speaking, this should be a really easy room because he should just do that and slowly die every time he tries to come anywhere near me. Okay, we do really, really need some health here though. And we're not getting any drops of it because that would be way, way too useful. Oh, good. Death. Good old death. Oh, good. Good old explosive leeches. You know the kind that like to get fired into you so that you take maximum damage from them? Yes, those kinds. They're my favorite explosive leeches. No secret room either. Candidates. Double Loki. Do I want to fight Double Loki? I feel like I, I do want to fight Double Loki, I guess, then. I guess that's, that's made up my mind on fighting Double Loki. I'm going to take that as a sign, because technically speaking, Double Loki is definitely doable. It's just there is a good chance that something will go horribly wrong very quickly. That's all I'm saying here. Don't do your stupid thing. Can one of you please die? Like, genuinely, just die. Good. Now that we're down to one Loki, we're all right. It's been a long while since I felt this pressured in an Isaac run, and it's really good. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to have this sort of uh, going for me, but at the same time, I value my heart's ability to function properly. Good, yeah, 99 money, at least if we're gonna die, we're gonna be rich. That's all that matters, am I right? I'm right, I'm so right here, because as long as we're rich, everything is okay. Did he just kill his friend with his own explosions? I guess he was like, this one's mine. I'm killing this tiny, adorable little demon Judas, because otherwise, I just won't prove myself as a headless horseman. <sighs> just, I'm having to fight through... Oh my god, please. 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 Please give me something. Just please, anything that might help. That's all I want. I will give you 100 money, beggar. More than you've ever seen in your life. I will give you it all. If you can just please give me a way out of this. Just please give me a solution. Just a little bit. Well, I guess we got a health up. Ooh, actually. Wheel of Fortune. The world. And the Emperor. Well, I guess we're going to use the world then, since we're going to use the Emperor on the next floor. And then we take this for just some health, and then we hope, beyond hope, that we somehow get incredibly fortuitous while gambling! See, guys, and everyone says gambling doesn't solve your problems. Well, who's laughing now? Because I'm certainly not, because I'm still probably going to die. Yay, we're actually doing well. You know what, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there for now and see if we can't mostly bomb skip to Isaac. Wow, that's just giving us 10 more goes. It really, oh, nearly took the explosion there, but that's fine. Okay, so we actually got fairly well kitted out by that beggar, so I can't complain too much. That does nothing for me, but I do at least make a bomb so I can... Bomb skip more effectively. I kind of want to see which sin this is. Just in case it's one that has a really genuinely useful item. It's a very easy sin, so I don't need to worry too much about being in here. And again, two more bombs is very useful. So let us move on with our lives. Ooh, Monstro 2. Come on. Just, it keeps happening. You'd think statistically by this point that it would stop happening. But no, it just, it keeps happening. Alright, you should... In fact, why am I even... Oh my god. Oh my... No, it worked. It actually worked. I'm really pleased by that. Okay, so it looks like four hearts is going to be our 
limit here on taking Isaac, assuming this final room isn't too bad, and it's actually nothing! How wonderful is that? Hey, Isaac. How are you doing? I'm personally not doing great, as you can probably tell. You, you probably rejoiced a little as I stepped into this room and, and you saw that you had a really easy fight ahead of you. You probably really enjoyed that fact, didn't you? And, and while I don't blame you for your sniggering laughter as I try and flail around fighting you as now you've damaged me, which is actually really good for me because the smart fly is going to do a lot more work than I can because my shots can't even barely reach you and I'm also moving so quickly that I can't even effectively damage you. So there's just really a lot of things wrong with everything that is happening and I don't know how to make it stop. Yes, phase two! All right, Electric Isaac Lou. I don't know why I said that, I already feel kind of bad about it. Don't hurt me, beams of light. Please, your beams of light, you shouldn't hurt that badly. Yeah, Revenge Fly, I just, I love him. I love him so much with my whole heart. He's just the best little fly in the absolute world. He really is. Isn't he not just the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Look at him murderizing Isaac for me. Okay, so we go up to the chest. We get ourselves four items. And then we either die to Blue Baby or somehow bring this one home. That's a kind of acceptable few items there. I guess for the most part, Dry Baby's useful, but we'll, we'll step into a room and then, no, I don't want to deal with grades. I just, I just don't want to deal with grades. Okay, so, I mean, for a start, he can't do anything because of uh, Dry Baby. So I got that going. It's just once he uh, steps up his game and starts doing the really swirly stuff, we're going to have a problem. Yeah, that would have been the problem right there had I not, uh, had I not been having smart fly at the exact place that I did, that would have been uh, game over, man. Game over. Right there. And once again, he was doing quite a lot of damage. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Back to hiding behind him. And I just realized something. I'm actually not affecting him in any way, shape, or form here. Oh, now I am. Now I kind of am. Yeah, keep doing that. Keep doing that. I got this. I so got this. I just really, I could do it. I, I, I'm going to be actually genuinely happy that I've not completely forgotten how to play when I'm on a non-ridiculously powerful run. Like, that's my main advantage here. I'm using Dry Baby pretty well. Yeah, Dry Baby was an absolute blinder of a chest item here. What actually upsets me is that I don't have the health to deliberately take a hit in order to activate Smart Fly. I'm going to need every bit of time I have. Though the good thing is, is I still have a modicum of invincibility from the Polaroid if I get fortunate enough when I get reduced to one health, so that's nice. Come on, please die! No, no, come, yes! Ha! I did it! My name has been Rage, and I like if you've enjoyed this. And subscribe for more. Oh, good boy.